babes welcome back to my channel welcome back for a weekly vlog i've been loving the weekly vlogs other people's i've been enjoying filming them that's where i'm at right now don't know why my hands are doing this but oh god the phone's going off as soon as i've sat down I'm here with the weekly vlogs and i'm loving them also i should be sitting on the sofa that makes sense not the floor but i really wanted to get my gorgeous roses in the shot so hence me oh god hence me sitting where i'm sitting can we just talk about these but hi and welcome by the way i'm georgia may thanks so much for stopping by please thumbs the video up it helps me so so much don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already turn your notification bell on and check me out on instagram and tiktok these roses I, I can't get over them so i keep oh that one's died that one's oh r.i.p we need to let her go but i got so many bunches of flowers for my birthday and then obviously it was valentine's day and i just decided to put all the roses in one vase gosh i'm really embarrassed because the water's really dirty i need to change it out um but i just i love how it looks my grandma was a florist so she did, like flower arranging and things like that i found it very therapeutic the other day arranging the whole bouquet i hope you guys can see it i mean it's gorgeous so yeah i wanted to have that in the back and my lovely candles that are also burning got a couple of questions what candles they are this one is a velospa candle my favorite brand of candle ever i adore them uh i actually got this i think from anthro i think it was for christmas but i absolutely love it this is a little booty candle from my friend how cute is that this one at the back is winter's eve which is just h m on this little thing which is a rigney bianchi and then this one is diptyque hi and welcome to a weekly vlog part of this vlog is actually sponsored by misguided so a huge shout out to them i'm just kind of showing you guys what i wear throughout the week i did a massive order with them i didn't expect them to send me all of the stuff but they sent me all of the stuff and it's honestly gorgeous so i've been lazing around this little set that i love they actually do this in a few other colors it's just like a plain kind of slouchy tee i'll do a better cutaway so you guys can see with these leggings that look so good on the bum i mean can we talk about that? They're like flared leggings. I love this outfit so much. Um, I've been living in this. I love this. It's so comfy and just like, it's loungewear, but I feel like you look a little bit more put together. I've actually got another loungewear set from them that I adore and I think looks a really similar vibe. A couple of coats. Yeah, I'm just here for it. So I'll show you guys my outfits throughout the week. I have just had a mirror delivered. I want to show you it. You're on a giant tripod right now, by the way, guys. But I have just had a mirror delivered. Um, and I just want to show you the size of this mirror. So this is going in my bedroom. But the delivery people would only deliver it to the first, like, this floor. So it, it looks bigger than this. I don't think it is. But it looks absolutely ginormous. This room right now, I need to give it a deep clean. But I just really wanted to come and properly start the vlog. I'm going to try and get Leon to actually take the mirror up the stairs and unpackage it. So that I can show you that in this video as well. So we'll do it kind of like as a, what I get up to in the week. A little bit of a home update and my outfits throughout the week which i'm really excited about and i'll leave all the misguided links below and my code and all of that good stuff as well if you want to check any of the items out i am going to go and tidy up because it's a tip and i'll check back in with you guys in a little bit so i feel like i've had a really unproductive day but i think the gale force winds have affected my productivity Is oh. it gale force what about you over there well i had a productive day till i got home and then i like a parrot on my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, it is Friday night. Here we go. So we have this incredible new mirror in this room, which I'm really excited about. It really needs a good little sort out in here, but at least you can see the floor. I've fallen in love with this. I'm actually going to turn my exposure up. I tried to adjust the light. I don't know if this is any better. Um, but I am completely obsessed with this little set that I've got on from Misguided. This is what I'm going to wear over to my mum's tonight. So it's sort of like one of those shirts that's slightly off the shoulder. It has a little collar to it, which I really, really love. And the button detail. I just, honestly, I was wearing this on Insta and a few of you were like, where is that from? And then I've got the matte matching flared trousers on that also have that I've got his um slippers on but they have the button detail down the side as well and I just think it looks like really gorgeous loungewear that you could wear out like I would wear trainers with this and wear this out literally what I'm gonna wear tonight this is what I'm gonna wear out tonight we're not actually doing anything we're literally just going to my arms I think we might chill there but I just love this outfit um and this is the jacket that I got I love this I think I saw this on Emily 
I really think I saw this on M. I don't know if I've made that up, but I felt like I saw it in her misguided haul and I just loved it. So I also picked one up for myself. I got it in a size, um, if you are wondering, a UK 18. So just if you're wondering, and it is oversized, but it's not like, I mean, no, it is quite oversized actually. It's, I really love this sort of fit on me. So go for whatever size you want that works for you. Um, if you want to sit true to size or whatever, but I love this little outfit. I'm really impressed with the stuff that I've actually got from Misguided. They have really, really cute bits. So let's go. I'm going to just go to the loop, sort my hair out, and let's go. Saturday. Um, I think it's probably about 10 now. Got up around 7 because I've actually got someone here right now painting my wardrobes upstairs. I'm so excited to show you guys some updates that have been happening in the house. Some major pieces of furniture in my bedroom at last. Mirror, bedside tables, chest of drawers, lamps and then we've got things going on with the wardrobe kind of area. I've had some built-in wardrobes built which I just love. Oh and um they're being painted i've also just had some two lamps delivered so i'm gonna unbox them and show you what they look like up in the bedroom okay guys so these are the lamps i feel like they look really basic on this camera so i'm gonna wait until i obviously take this wrapping off and get the light bulb so i'll show you when they're both on either side and it looks a lot better but these are feather and black and so is the bed if you're wondering um they were not cheap but I loved the style and I just feel like they fit the room really, really nice. Anyway, let me show you guys my outfit. This is option number one. I feel like this is a very like Madison Sarah kind of vibe. I really, really like this. I think it looks really cool. And this is the second coat. I feel like I'm doing a really bad job of showing you these. So I'm actually gonna put you on my tripod. Use the Hoover and everything in here. Um, honestly, stuff is everywhere at the moment. But this is the other coat that I was thinking of wearing. I love this, but I just don't know if it goes with the vibes of the outfit. So this is like a khaki kind of trench. This is so nice from Misguided. I have a lot of like beige colored trenches, but I love this kind of muted color. I just think it's really nice. I actually think this would be really nice like with a dress or something a little bit more glam but it's a perfect i think it's a really good spring transitional piece if you want to go from kind of like the colder weather into maybe more of the milder weather i just think because it's so lightweight and you can layer underneath it it makes it a really really good option i will obviously link everything that i mentioned below if you do want to check any of the items out hey guys hope you're doing super well i wanted to just jump in I'm halfway through my makeup, by the way, if I look a little bit crazy. Um, I wanted to just hop in halfway through my vlog because I've sort of realised as this vlog's gone on that I loads of the outfits that I ordered from Misguided were not... They were very, like, glam. Well, they weren't very glam, but like, they were, like, really nice outfits. And I felt like, you know, going shopping and going to my mum's for a quick Prosecco, like... I didn't get to wear a lot of the stuff so i wanted to just like hop in and show you some of the other pieces that they sent me that i didn't share in this video because i shared a lot of loungewear pieces in this video so to start out with i have this gorgeous satin sage suit and i just really wanted to share it because i showed a suit like this in a previous video of mine with misguided it was a hot pink satin suit which i'm going to try and link below because that's equally as gorgeous, but I really wanted something a little bit more muted for the spring. Now, at the moment, I've got it sort of open. This is probably how I would wear it in the evening with some heels. However, I actually think you could wear this in the day with white, like I would wear white Air Force trainers. This blazer is lovely. I've got this in a UK 12. And then the trousers I actually picked up in a 10. And I'm actually really glad I got the 10 because they fit really nice on the waist, which is exactly what I wanted. But that's, they're still that very flared, wide leg trouser i'll kind of have that sort of like wide leg almost like pajama-esque feel to the pants which i think is really really cool again with the sage blazer and i just wanted to share this with you because i think this is a really nice option from misguided that i didn't get to wear in this week's vlog so i was like desperate to have it in the video i have a similar sort of option that i'm going to show um i did film this actually 
for my Instagram stories because I really want to wear this out somewhere because I think it's so cool. I am tempted to wear this jacket today with some cargoes and kind of dress it down. But this cord I love. My boyfriend actually was like, oh my God, I love this on you because it's giving me all the JLo vibes. So I'm going to pop this cord on and show you this now as well, just for some like evening out options. Um, but what I loved about the blazer set is I think you can dress it down. This though, I think I'm going to wear today with cargoes. So I feel like you can actually dress this down. This is like a little faux leather. This is really nice. So out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to go for something a little bit more exciting in this video. Um, and it's super cute, so I'm gonna pop it on now. I am gonna be trying this on with the matching skirt, but I did just wanna show you. I kind of love it with the trousers. I kind of think this is such a bad outfit. Oh my God, I actually really, really like this. Okay, this is really cute. I'm going to Barcelona in a few days. <laughs> I've only mentioned it 10 times in this vlog. Um, and I think I might take this because I think this is a really cool like evening outfit, especially with the pony. Oh my God, I'm loving it. Okay, sorry. So I wanted to show you this. This I got in a UK 10. Um, I love this. I think this is the perfect little cropped. Great for a girl's night out. Great for a dinner, date night. I just think it's really, really cute. I hope I can dress this down today because I actually really want to wear this now. So I wanted to just show you it before I paired it with the skirt. The skirt I got in a 12. Okay guys, so this is it with the skirt. See, it's a little bit more saucy and sexy, but I do think it's really nice. I am thinking about bringing this whole set to Barcelona because it is very like cool girl energy. Let me know if you think I should bring the whole set or just the little blazer top. But I really wanted to share this with you because I think it was really, really cute. And I actually think you could pair it with a coat that I do show later on in the video. I wore this the other day as well. It's like this khaki sort of trench. I think that could look really, really nice. Oh, I did pick up kind of a random one. These mittens, oh my god, I'm gonna link these because these are dupes of another pair of mittens that I bought recently that really broke the bank for me. And I, if I put these in the wrong hand, I've put them on the wrong hand. Oh my god, I think these are so nice. They're like Borg little mittens. <gasps> okay, not with this outfit. I look absolutely crazy right now. But can we just visualize? Oh my gosh, I feel like a little sheep in the school play. How cute is this? Right, okay, I've fully lost the plot. I'm gonna go now. I just wanted to show you a couple of those pieces that I feel like I didn't show throughout the video. Um, and now let's carry on with the vlog. Oh my God. Guys, it's pissing it down. Sorry, but I do love my bomber. I'm gonna stop going on about it now, but it is very cool. It is literally pissing it down right now. So I love that. I'm putting on some gloss. These are my favorite glosses, by the way. Love them. I pick him up. Good thing I did this kind of like slick hair today. Um, we're gonna go pick him up. We're gonna go to Dunelm and I'm so excited for a Dunelm trip. This is what my weekend consists of now, I'm 26. Guys, what a bloody start to the vlog. So I get in the car, I wish I'd been filming, but obviously I just wasn't recording. And I'm driving down and there's this Volvo in front of me and like there's an Amazon car and he's trying to fit in between a parked car and the Amazon car the volvo is and i'm thinking god that's like really tight like why doesn't he just wait until this amazon driver's like gone like just let him go and then figure it out he tries to go literally takes the paint off his car so stops the amazon driver like comes running over he's having a cigarette literally on the side of the road and he's like i've locked my keys in my car so he's blocked the whole road because he's obviously like just run out and then he's realized he's locked his keys in his car so the whole road is blocked then they're like oh you're gonna have to like reverse all the way down the road bearing in mind this is like quite a long road so i'm like um great because i don't have any camera or anything in this car if i had a camera i'd honestly just stick it in reverse and like rev the engine like, i'm i'm all right in cars like i'm all right driving like different cars oh god i'm i'm saying all this now god forbid something happens but what i mean is, is i'm not really like a nervous driver um i'll do maneuvers i'll you know i'm confident in the car hang on sorry i'm at a bit of an rct junction now like a very confident driver i feel fine in the car blah 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 boring anyway you don't need to say that but what i mean is i wasn't nervous about reversing it down the road he was like i think you should do a three-point turn like it's a long way to just go oh peloton someone's obviously had peloton delivered to the house um it's a long way to drive in reverse in this weather you've got no camera so i was like okay so he was like me and this other guy the amazon guy will guide you to a three-point turn bearing in mind the road is like this narrow so i'm like how the am i gonna do a three-point turn in a road that's about this big but they guided me i mean the man in front of me in the volvo was the cutest man he had no hood on he's in like a puffer jacket and he's like outside torrential rain like go back go back i'll move the bin like he was 
so cute. I mean, shout out to him. He was such a friendly guy. Um, he's so posh as well. He's like, there's been an incident with the Amazon driver. <laughs> but he was so cute. So I've had a total mare. Leon is waiting for me in the rain. Cause I was like, oh wait out. Like I was like, I'll be two seconds. Obviously I ended up being like, not two seconds. I live to tell the tale. We're gonna go pick him up. He's probably gonna be a little bit grumpy because I literally left him out in this weather. I was like, go and stand in a shop because there's been an incident. Anyway, I'm realizing now how boring that story is, but for me, it was a little bit of drama for the day. My mum is gonna be like, why are you not at Dunelm? Because I'm gonna meet my mum at Dunelm. I'm gonna be like, there was an incident. Now that road's closed. What the heck is going on? Why are all the roads closed? Transferred call to phone. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just telling them what just happened. Annoyed? Because you've been standing in the rain. No, it's not your fault. I'm freezing. Why didn't you stand in the shop? <laughs> like a normal well, I had to walk, person? I had to walk from Quick Fit up to town. Do you want to tell everyone your drama of the day or no? No, nah, it's not like... He's had a burst tyre. Had to be transported by the AA. Yeah, but do you know what as well? They did a recovery vehicle as well. Oh, so you got all the lights, all the flashing lights. So I had, a, I was in a van with some geezer. It was smoking whilst he was in the van. It was honking. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I, obviously, I couldn't say anything. Um, he was telling me really? that like, last night. That he, well, had, he went out? No, he, was, uh, he had a kebab, but he was waiting two hours. He called him up and did, oh, we have not got a driver, sorry. Oh. And they made him go pick it up. He weren't happy. God. Well, whilst he was going. <laughs> I not, people not, like people will not be able to hear anything because it picks up the sound of the rain on the roof right. and it so, sounds so loud. Really? So maybe we should just join. Shout! We should just join you when we we're shout. at when we're at Dunelm. Okay, we'll go. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, mine's really good. Is that better than M and S? Yeah. Yeah. I know Way better. Yeah. How much is it? Like three pounds eight for the drink as well. Like four quid. So less money. Yeah. Result. Shop around for your sandwiches. It's the bread that I like. Can you delete that bit? Because my I did a big bite and <laughs> So we're all reunited. Say hello, yeah, outfit of the day. Today I would have made myself look a bit smarter. Say hello. Look at my hair. It's very wet outside, people. Yeah, they know. Very wet. We're just in Dunelm. Yeah. My mum's bought a table, not this, but my mum's bought a table, and it's this sort of like, I don't know if anyone can relate, comment below if you can, where it's like wood effect, but it, it feels a bit plasticky, like lino kind of vibe. Yes. Do you kind of know what we mean? Yes. It doesn't look like real wood. Like there's the kind of one, it's sort of like this oak. I think it's trying to be like oak, but oak is quite expensive, isn't it? So it's, it's you get okay. not always because I got a Greg sandwich today and let me tell you, it was a thousand times better than M&S sandwich. Really? Greg sandwiches You're welcome. are lovely. Yeah, nice. it's That's all right. No, it's like that know. fake plastic. Like, yeah. li like listen to it, it's not even wood. It's like, oh. Yeah, I thought that as well. That is what I'm... Yeah, I know. I do know what you're talking about. Cheap test. Do you like the feel of that or not? Um... Do you not? Yeah, it's nice, but it's dark. It's a thousand. A thousand, a thousand pounds, but a thousand thread count. Oh, that is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that is. A thousand thread count. That is count. luxury. That's what it is. Wow. Ultimate luxury. It's bloody expensive. Wow. So, a few things are now in the basket. This is my mum's new mirror. Leon's looking very excited. The West Ham game's on, so it's once again bad news, I think. <laughs> anyway, this is, these are all the mirrors that they've got. I just bought that huge mirror, actually, that's I'm going to link below, um, that I love. And that was from a shop online. I just thought I'd show you what's in. Got some throws. I'm a kid I miss you, babe. And I'm so Vlog. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Me and the singer are off um, to shoot some things with my mum, which 
I'm kind of nervous about it, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's just going to be very amusing, I think. So that is today's sort of job this Sunday. Um, I am all dressed and ready to go. And I'll keep you posted throughout the day. So, me and Leon have come back from Dunelm. I'm actually going to Dunelm Hall, but it's really boring. So I want to apologise because... I actually realised I didn't get anything that interesting in there. I got a really cute little stepladder thing, but I mean that really is pushing it for boring things. It's pretty boring, isn't it? I got some light bulbs. It's not bed sheets are nice. I feel like I filmed as well 95% of this vlog in this exact spot and I want to apologise. I do have some more exciting things on. Maybe I should have this as my background. It's a little bit more exciting here because that is just so boring. Anyway, you um, Glen Coco. it's because I've got my ring light and my tripod and everything set up in this area, so that's why I keep filming here. But I'm gonna do a really quick Dunelm haul and then I'm gonna show you a couple of options that I'm thinking of wearing. We've decided we're gonna go for a roast and I have a few kind of like more chilled out outfits like the one that I've got on, which are all from Misguided that I'm gonna show you. Um, that are my options. I think I know what I'm actually gonna wear, so I'll show you that. But these are like options that I thought about wearing. And also these are just nice like loungewear things. Like I've literally got this on to lounge around the house. It is for exercise, but I'm quite enjoying wearing it just to chill in. This oversized sweatshirt is really nice. I think I got this in a UK 12. So it's just very, very comfy and it matches this set. I styled this up with like a cream knitted little jumper over the shoulder to break up all the car key. Sports bra is like a basic little sports bra. Which is these leggings. I just love this about Misguided at the moment. They're doing their sports with all this branding. I think they also did their ski wear with all this like MSGD stuff and I really liked it. These are the ribbed leggings. I'm actually, I'll get onto the, what I got in Dunelm. Hang on. I do just want to show you this little set because I think it's really, really cute. And this is how I've sort of been wearing it. I also have another set which I'm not going to wear to the pub. But I do want to show you because I think it's very cute. Again, this is misguided. This is definitely more of their like active wear pieces. So if you're like an avid gym goer, or you just want to wear active wear as loungewear. That's literally what I do. Um, then I have these tops, which I love from misguided. They're like those long, almost like thermal tops. They have the branding on the bottom. And then they have the little like thumb holes. I love this. I wore this recently on Instagram and this is so flattering. And they also do these little zip up jackets which I love as well I think they're really really flattering for a size guide I got both of these in a medium and they're super they're very stretchy but they're also very flattering like they really go in at the waist and again it has the little thumb hole thing so I probably wouldn't wear this particular set to the pub but I did just want to share it with you if you're someone that likes to go to the gym their activewear is lovely right let me move on to what i got from dunelm and then i'll show you the other loungewear piece that i have from misguided so it's very boring i'm really sorry like i think the trolley looks a lot more interesting than the reality i did get some sheets um i don't know how excited everyone is by that prospect but i'm very excited about it obviously i was trying to show leon in the shop but he didn't seem that interested these little pillowcases i thought were really lovely with the kind of beige detailing to the pillowcase so i got how many of these did i get in total i got four uh, they're 300 thread count and they're just very soft but they are not like white company prices i love white company bedding it's ridiculously expensive and these feel really nice i mean don't get me wrong they're definitely not as soft as the ones that we felt in the shop those really soft yeah, ones they were 120 quid yeah that, it was amazing though wasn't it it was good but this they, is they were a thousand thread count yeah this is 300 but i just like the little trim on the corner i thought that was kind of nice i've got this which is really sad because I'm going to have to return it. By the way, I met one of you guys in Dunelm um, and you're really cute, but I was checking out all this stuff and I got this doormat and it's too wide for my front door. It's a bit hectic, wasn't it? It was a bit hectic. It was a bit chaotic in there. That's why I didn't vlog too much at the checkout. It all suddenly went a little bit strange. I got this, actually, which I thought was really nice. This is just like Zara Home. So if you can have like some patience with the store, I think you might find some really nice things. This is literally matches all of my Zara home bits and bobs. I mean, this is Zara home here and the vibes are very similar, if you know what I mean. This at the moment I'm using to store my utensils in the kitchen, I've decided. So that's what that pot's for. I picked this up in the range and I wanted to share it with you because I think it's so nice. It's very similar to my, let's move that glass of wine, um, my Arena Bianchi pot that I have here. So this one on the right is the range. This is Arigny Bianchi. I love both of them. They are different. This is more like a cream and it's a lot bigger. And this is more of like a white 
um so it depends obviously what your vibes are but i just thought this was really nice to display somewhere i think i'm gonna get like a console table in the dining room and have it on there so yeah the range i thought that was really good oh when i speak it's like going all we're going for a roast aren't we mm-hmm leon's behind the camera by the way he's filming we're gonna go for Hi, a roast guys there we go. Which I'm actually really excited about because we haven't. We've, I don't think we've ever gone for one. Have it, right? To be fair, since I moved this way, mm. I've not had a roast. Have How you? bad is that? So, my mum's roasted. I don't know if did for my birthday. We went back. For yeah, mine. for your mum's. But out, like we haven't gone for one nah. ages. It goes every single Sunday for a roast, so maybe we should make it more of a common thing. We'll bring you along. We'll see how the roast is. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick out of the night because obviously I've been misguided. I love this. This is so comfy. So this is one of their like lap. Well, they call it like a loungewear set. I think. I think you can sort of wear this out and about because I think it's quite smart. Instead of like joggers, like scruffy joggers and a big hoodie, I feel like this is a bit more smart. Mm -hmm. So it's in this really nice kind of like. I think it's like a mushroom colour, you think it's more purpley. Brown. Brown purple, yeah. Okay. But it's very cute, very flattering. Look how flattering they are. But Damn, Daniel. It's flattering, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. I'm just going to pop it on with my big puffer coat. This is in a size 10, this coat, actually. Um, and it's already quite oversized. And again, this is misguided. Just because it's like a bit of a horrible night. So it's a lot more practical. Got a hood. Be right. hood up, show us. Oh, by the way, we've I've been ready for an hour and a half, but we're about to be late Some for Some of us have been working. Yeah, me. But yeah, I think this looks really nice together. Yeah, it looks lovely. Cute, for a little roast. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> I've got you singing on this vlog so much, and you're in the kitchen. This morning, don't you... upload that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Are we going for a roast? If they run out of a veggie roast, I think I'm going to cry. Why is this one? They always run out of a veggie roast. Wish us luck. We're going to the cock. That's a good lie, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to the cock. Uh, why? Cocky wocky woo. Sorry? Do you say brought or bought? I got brought a coffee. Bought. I got given? No, I got. I was By who? Given. By you. I was given. Leon bought me a coffee. Right. Wow, are you going to edit that bit out? <laughs> no, I'm not good with grammar. I was actually really good at English, but I was really, I've always been really bad at grammar. I'm going to date a bit of the so we've got longer on the memory card. Okay. Roast arrived. I've got a butternut squash wellington. I know some people are commenting below right now, what the heck, but it looks lovely to me. So, it looks so yummy. Mm -mm. What have you got? A uh, trio of meats. Wow. <laughs> we are chalk and cheese. Looks nice though. Yum or not? Yes, it is. So, I haven't tried it yet. I think I might ask some more gravy. You do. Mm. I do, yeah. Mm. There's a lot here, but there's not a lot of gravy. Have you ever seen the film Matilda? Yeah, Matilda is such a good film. Yeah, yeah, and he gets the train. Bruce, 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 Bruce. Like, um, what's it called? Black, like black pudding. Yeah. Oh. My actual blood sweating. Yeah. Oh. She was repulsive as well. It's like a decadent, like, dark chocolate. Like. Go on. All in. That's not how you ate the last one. You went, um. <laughs> First. Wow, Leon, how romantic. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to end this vlog and I thought I would. Just come and sit here and finish it off. Um, gosh, the lighting is really not ideal. I've just dragged him into filming something with me. I feel like that's all I've spent this week doing is dragging him into filming various things with me. <laughs> but it's fine, it's quite handy actually. It's all in the name of love. Also, my ear is starting to really hurt and I'm wondering if I've, it's got infected now. We've been using your water. No, I've lost it. You haven't lost it. I don't know where it is. It's in the drawer underneath the sink. That would've been nice to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I feel like it was a little bit more slow. It was kind of like a weekend vlog in a way, I feel. Um, but it's probably one of the most chilled out weekends I've had in the longest time, which was really, really nice. I do want to do more weekly vlogs. I actually got a message from someone on Insta like, can you do weekly vlogs every week? And I am considering it. 
So let me know if you prefer the vlogs to the other videos. If you don't, I'd love to hear what you like in the comment section below. Like I've mentioned, I don't know if I've mentioned it on this video or other ones, I'm heading to Barcelona on Friday. So I will definitely be vlogging that trip. Um, which I'm so excited about. I do need to come up with some like outfits. I'm very stressed about it because I literally don't know what sort of outfits to put together because the weather's like a bit strange. You know when it's like that odd temperature, it's like 18 degrees. What do you wear in 18 degree weather? I don't know. Shorts. You don't though, do you? Yeah. So I'm a bit lost with what to wear because the weather's like kind of random. Um, so I need to put some outfits together for Barcelona, but I'm definitely going to vlog that trip if you guys are at all interested. I don't want to film a video at some point just kind of updating you on my, like, skincare, like, hair care routine. Like, proper, like, products that I've been loving. I feel like that's a video that I haven't filmed probably ever, or, like, since years ago. Where, like, I talk about, like, my favourite skincare products, my favourite hair care products. I was going to include it in this vlog, but I ended up filling it with loads of other stuff so i'm tempted to do that as well let me know below a few of you are asking me about home updates there will be a home update vlog coming soon i'm still waiting for my dining table it's really really nice but when that arrives i feel like the downstairs will be like on its way to nearly done so yeah we're gonna enjoy a romantic meal aren't we glass of wine on a monday wow wow mm. Mm. people have asked me before like what wine do you like? What wine do you drink? Just if anyone's wondering, this bottle of wine was three pounds in Tesco and tastes fine. That, like, it's literally like, I would drink it. You need to drink anything, darling. No, I, we had this conversation the other day at my mum's, didn't we? We didn't vlog too much at my mum's the other day. No. But we had this conversation about wine and the wine that we had there, it's quite like, I'm going to sound like, honestly, someone's going to be watching this, they're going to be cringing. But I don't like wine that's, like, hard to drink, like, spicy. It was, like, like that. It's got a bit spicy. Does that make sense? It was a Tempranillo. The Cabbiejo Tempranillo. Why did I find it spicy, though? And it was absolutely delightful. Why would I find that sp spicy? I don't actually know, but I genuinely love it. Lo love it. I would always pick, like, a Malbec or a Merlot. No, mine's either a Rioja or a Tempranillo. Hide it here first, guys. Tempra Pulido. Tempra Pulido. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go now, but um, I just wanted to end this vlog. I feel like I never end vlogs on the same day. As well, I hope you're okay with the chaoticness of my vlog, because they're definitely not organized in any way, but there we go. That's you. Bye.